Okay guys, um, just going to show you one of my latest little figures. Uh, it's a custom figure by um, Jinx Art, a Korean artist. The first figure that I got from him, um, a DX set, um, 11 of 11. That's um, like how limited this was. And um, it's of uh, obviously um, uh, Michael Douglas in the 19, uh, I think it was 92 um, film Falling Down. Um, so yeah, but, um, quite a favourite of mine and all that. And uh, yeah, um, like it was a bit of money to get my hands on this, um, but I think it's well worth it. As I say, really limited availability on these things. Uh, eleven of eleven. There was a few other sets, um, but they weren't DXs. So there's only eleven DXs sets in the world as it stands, and um, you get like shed loads of um, really nicely detailed accessories. Briefcase, obviously. Very nice. And um, this little metal tray for keeping the um, accessories safe in transit, I guess. That's where the um, little water pistol went. That's where the glasses go. You go and get a normal pair and a damaged pair. Um, in the DX set, and then you get a selection of weapons that he uses throughout the film, of course. The baseball bat. She uses against the um, like the uh, the um, gangsters um, part of the movie. The switchblade he uses against um, uh, Nick the Nazi. Uh, the um, machine gun or submachine gun that he uses um, to uh, shoot the um, uh, the phone booth. Obviously the iconic gun that he uses at the Wemo Burger or Whammy Burger. Uh, the Uzi that he uses to shoot the gangster and all that. And then the um, shotgun. All, um, you know, um, faithfully recreated, you know, even with the little elastic bands um, added and all that. For realism, uh, that he uses uh, against the golf cart, I think, isn't it? Um, later on in the movie, and then you get the bag, the whole door with um, authentic a little emblem on there. Um, was it? Uh, what did I have on it? An Anaheim uh, Razor Axe or something like that. So yeah, I'm um, really nice, and the three little pens, and obviously the Coke can um, that he refuses to pay uh, eight five cents for. Ends up paying fifty cents in the um, Korean guy store when he's uh, rolling back prices and uh, yeah so um, really sweet figure as you can see really nice head sculpt um, yeah and just um, the, here's the box that it came in as well, it's a wooden box with um, the, um, the poster art um, obviously um, Kurt Douglas standing on top of um, that um, shit, shit heap um, Hill, uh, just after he's um, you know, after the uh, gangsters, um, the gang tried to get the uh, briefcase off him. So yeah, um, it's a wooden box, really sweet, really nice touch. Really, I'm um, gotten the extra effort with this uh, release. Oh yeah, you get the uh, little snow globe as well, faithfully reproduced in one six, with a little horse in there. So yeah, amazing figure. I'm very um, thankful that I was able to get on board. This at the very last minute. Uh, that's why I'm 11 of 11. There's originally only going to be 10 sets, but I was able to um, plead with Jinx to get me on board, and um, he um, duly did. So thanks very much for that. And um, yeah, just uh, check out the shoes as well. Has actually got the hole faithfully recreated. Obviously, um, his shoes are wearing out and all that. Um, because uh, it's quite a sad film really isn't it um, like it's got those iconic scenes you know in the Whammy Burger and all that and him attack, attacking the um, gangsters and all that and it's got those iconic but it is um, quite um, like a tragic film really isn't it it's uh, where well, it's entitled Falling Down and that's exactly what um, Michael Douglas's figure has done he's like oh, he's lost his job he's lost his um, he's lost his family and everything and um, yeah he's just breaking down and all that and um, in the end of the film, um, he actually is killed by uh, Prendergast, um, the police officer on his final day in duty, um, played by Robert Duvall. Um, I think he, he played an excellent um, part, a uh, co-starring part in the film Falling Down, uh, Robert Duvall, 
um, an actor I really rate quite highly. And um, yeah, Michael Douglas done a great job as well. In um, kind of like quite an off-key um, performance really, sort of like it came out a little bit of left field and all that. But you know, I think he really um, pulled it off well. And um, coincidentally, uh, the film was um, filmed um, in uh, Los Angeles, obviously, and it was filmed around the times of the LA riots, um, I understand. And um, you often hear um, a helicopter going overhead in the background of the film. And I do believe that was um, directly to do with um, the LA riots that were just about to start kicking off and all that. Uh, the LA riots of 92, obviously, that um, sort of are quite infamous in American history. So, so yeah, um, fantastic figure, um, excellently tailored, super rare, and um, obviously of a uh, figure and a character that um, I quite like and all that. As I say, it's quite a film, it's a film that I've watched many times and all that. One of my favourite 90s films. And um, and yeah, uh, thanks for uh, watching that, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed it all. And um, yeah, as I say, a big shout out to Jinx for uh, letting me get on board in this one. Uh, I'm really um, thankful for that. So uh, yeah, thanks, buddy. And yeah, super stoked to um, get this set. Um, yeah, um, I think he's done an amazing job, real amazing job. It's a real, uh, real work of art. So yeah, thanks for that, guys. Uh,